bit of an overview. I'm Carrie Sison. For anybody that hasn't met me before, uh, I'm on Instagram mostly uh, at pocketpa.gb or at Carrie Sison. And I've also just started on TikTok this week. So that has been um, a brand new experience. And yeah, so you can find me on TikTok um, under Carrie Sison or um, pocketpa.gb. I'm recording some new videos. Uh, at the moment, uh, just business tips, information about tax, uh, things for small business owners, really. And so I'm just experimenting with those. So if there's anything in particular that you would like um, more information on, then I love to hear what people need help with. So please drop me a, a message and let me know. So I'm going to, uh, without any further ado, I'm going to um, share my screen in a moment to show you what the inside of Pocket PA looks like. And just to let you know, Pocket PA it's called a web um, app. So it's nothing to download on the Apple or the Google uh, Play Store. Everything is uh, accessed through a web browser. So you effectively go to Google uh, Chrome or Safari. It works best on Safari, particularly on your phone, um, but it works on an Android or a tablet. Uh, anything like that is fine. And you just type in pocketpa.com. And then once you've registered your account, you can then um, access your information and it synchronizes across the cloud. So it will look um, exactly the same if you open it on your phone, your tablet, or your computer, and all of your information is stored and saved um, up on the cloud for you. So as I say, nothing to download, so don't get confused looking for it in the Apple or Google Play Store. Um, and what I've done uh, when I made Pocket PA, it's been taking a while, it's five years now, um, but it's been designed and created specifically for the small self-employed business owner. So if you work by yourself for yourself and you have to file a tax return at the end of the year, then Pocket PA will help you do everything without the overwhelm and without needing to have spreadsheets. So that's the idea behind why I made it. Originally, I made it for my own daughter, Megan, and um, my son, Sam, also uses it now. He's self-employed, uh, but I love helping small business owners and it's really exciting. We're in the hundreds now of people that are using Pocket PA. So it's a really exciting time for us as we grow. So I'm just going to add to the uh, screen there. So this is effectively what you would see if you are on a desktop. But um, if you're on um, a phone, it's going to just be narrowed down so that you'll see the six colored boxes initially. And then you'll go into this income dial and then, excuse me, you'll have the net income dial. Some business expenses and then underneath that you'll see your calendar just down underneath there. So uh, we're going to start off by just having a look at what these six boxes boxes are. So we've got six big colored boxes. I'll just zoom in a little bit. They're all summary boxes and they've got information. They're all clickable. If you um, hover over them, you'll see they change color a little bit. So this is really great if you're on your phone. This is a shortcut for you to be able to reach your clients, your services, packages, vouchers and classes. And then over here, this is a quick access to your calendar. So it'll tell you how many appointments you've got this week compared to last, this month compared to last. In Pocket PA, we track all of your income and your expenses, and that's shown in the pink and the orange boxes. So it tells you how much you've earned this week, month or year compared to the last. And then the same with your expenses. And then some self-employed people send out invoices, some people don't. So if you do, then those will show up here and it tells you how many are outstanding and due for payment and how much is due to be paid. Over on the right is uh, information relating to your sales. You may sell um, extra add-ons or not, or that uh, your business might just be more service-based. So totally um, designed to fit with you. Um, over on the left-hand side, what we've got is your expected income due dial. So this isn't rocket science. It's basically connected to your diary, which is further down the page. And basically what you've got booked into your diary will reflect exactly how much you're going to earn if everybody turns up that week. So it's kind of like a pipeline or a projection so that you can see ahead of time what you're going to be earning in subsequent weeks and months. And it's really handy because as you enter in all of the payments, this dial just gets greener and greener. So the idea is at the end of every week and month, it should be fully green. That's the idea. And if it's not, it means that somebody owes you money. So all you have to do is to click on this little line here that says left to pay, and that will take you straight to a screen which will give you information let me just click on that there. Um, it will give you information telling you exactly who still owes you money and how much and uh, who the client is, what the date is and what it relates to. So it's really quick and simple. You can then just follow up, click on the client's name and then you can either send them an email, give them a call or turn up at their house and collect the money. So that's the... Um, premise of the expected income due dial, which is on your dashboard. That's really great at keeping you up to date with what you think, um, what you're going to be earning every week 
per month. And then in the middle, this is where you've got your business expenses. So it um, can be switched between every week, month and year. And all of your information relating to your money going out is, is there uh, as an overview in the center. And then over on the right hand side, this is where the magic happens. So this is where you click on. And again, it's week, month and year view. But you can see exactly what you've got coming in physically, what you've got going out physically. And then it tells you in the center what is left for you. That's effectively your net income and your profit. And that's what um, you're going to be keeping a really close eye on. Now, obviously, you want your expenses to be as, as small as possible and your income as big as possible in order for you to have a healthy profit. So this area here in the red, you want to make that as small as possible. And on the green, you want to make that as big as possible. And you're going to have the maximum amount left uh, for you. If, for example, your red is half and your green is half, it matches. There's going to be nothing left for you. You're at a break even point. And God forbid your red is bigger than your green. That means that you've got a very very expensive hobby going on and you need to know that as soon as possible because effectively you're not going to be making any money which is going to um, enable you to have a living. So that's really important that you get to know that. Now, recently we've just added a couple of new features and I won't go into all of them today unless I get questions on them. Um, but the first one in this bottom right corner is uh, called your tax estimator. And this is based on a self-employed um, business owner in the UK um, working. And the tax year runs from the 6th of April uh, one year until the 5th of April the following year. So this is all based on a self-employed um, solo business owner, which is um, the ideal person that I've made this for and it will give you a running total of how much you need to put aside any week, month or year for your tax uh, bill with HMRC. Now, um, as I say, it's an estimator. It's not um, in, in placement of uh, financial advice or speaking to an accountant, but you can set it at different amounts. So this has been set at 30 percent. And if you click on here, you can also change it. We've got two defaults, um, one for 30. Excuse me, just let me clear that off. Um, one for 30 percent. And then on the drop down, you could choose 20 percent. So if you're um, we have a tax free um, allowance just under 13,000 in the UK. So uh, if you are earning just uh, somewhere between, I don't know, about 12,000, 30,000, you could probably get away with setting the light version. If you want to set the 30 percent version, then you're going to have um, hopefully ample enough to be able to pay your tax national insurance. And if you've got historic figures, you can probably work out roughly what your own percentage is on average year on year. So you could over type that or if it's a bit less than that you could see in historic years what your average amount of tax is compared to your net um, income so you can set that yourself and you just press the save changes button and then it will recalculate and give you a rough ballpark of what to set aside for any week month or year and then what the overall running total is for you to set aside now as i say it's not um, calculated to the penny and until your accountant um, or you file your tax return you're not going to know exactly um, what that amount is but what i suggest is it's great to give you a bit of a guideline and it just helps you um, get some metric and um, hopefully by the time tax time comes you've got a, a pot of money in there to be able to help put towards your tax bill so you feel a lot more prepared and if it's slightly over hooray you can have a little celebration and if it's a little bit under then you've um, probably just got a very small shortfall to find and it won't be that large amount that if you've been burying your head in the sand for the for the whole year that you're going to have to suddenly find from somewhere and magic up uh, the other new feature that we've put in recently is the goal setting. So we've got um, a new goal setting feature in this top right area. You can go down into goal setting and you've got an ability here to set five different goals. We can um, select goals around income received, your profit, your number of your appointments booked in your diary, if you do sales or hours worked. Um, the thing about hours worked is I think when you become self-employed, it's a real mystery as to actually how much time you're spending with your clients. You're not tracking it in the same way that you used to when you were employed. When you're having a job and you work for somebody, you know that you have a 20 hour a week contract or you're working full time. You might be doing 37 or 40 hours and you just get paid a salary on that basis. But suddenly when you start becoming self-employed, that is a whole other game. And and you could spend numerous hours with your clients and not really have any clue how many client hour uh, facing hours that you're actually doing. So I'm trying to enlighten people really to actually get some grip of actually how many hours they're working based on the appointments that they've got in their diary. And it is 
quite an eye opener, I think, for a lot of people, because even though they might have X number of hours that they're seeing their clients for, there's actually another layer of uh, numbers, which you'll have to work out yourself as to how many extra hours you're spending on your business admin. And that's another thing that I'm trying to help with Pocket PA, which is to reduce the amount of um, business admin hours that you do and the amount of kerfuffle that you have all around the little tasks that you do and to set up as many of those to be automated as possible. So this hours worked um, goal is a really useful one and we will track it against all of the uh, calendar that you've got so that you can see right on um, time exactly what you're spending out with your clients. So just heading back to the dashboard again, um, you can see you've got your expected income due, your business expenses and your net income, your little tax estimator tool and your goals. And then further down, this is um, the calendar. So presuming that you're a service based industry, you will be using the calendar to book in your clients. And in order to book um, into the appointments calendar, you will need one client, one service, client plus service equals appointment. And one of the things that um, I try and emphasize when people are new to Pocket PA is don't feel overwhelmed when you get started. It's so easy to um, you know, have great intentions and think, oh my God, I'm gonna just jump straight in. And then suddenly you start to see all of the different things that Pocket PA can do. And it suddenly starts to feel a little bit overwhelming. And I don't want that to happen for anybody, um, specifically if they're new in business. Sorry, I'm just gonna move my camera a little bit there because it's a little bit bright. Um, so I don't want um, Pocket PA to become overwhelming for anyone that just gets started. So I really encourage you to start off by um, just adding your first client, start to add in a couple of services and then put your first appointments in. And if that's all that you do the first few days or the first week or so, just get used to um, starting to track things in your new digital tool. Because for people that have come from a paper diary perhaps, um, and they're used to perhaps using their iPhone as their contacts list and they're putting things in in their diary and they're just checking their bank account perhaps and they're popping all their receipts into a shoebox, it can be quite a big transition to come in. And there definitely is some investment in time that you will need to do to get started and set up um, your business but I don't want that to put people off because it will pay back in spades and dividends once you start getting things set up and you'll realize how much more information that you've got you're automating things so you're going to be starting to save time and cut corners on things that you were repeatedly having to do in your business and suddenly you'll find some tasks some really valuable tasks that Pocket PA can do for you without you needing to keep remembering and one of the things that I know so many of our clients um, love and use Pocket PA for is the notifications area. So this enables you to send either an SMS or an email notification to your client. And there are three different types of notifications that you can sell, send. The first is a booking confirmation, and this will just confirm with the client via text message exactly what service and time and appointment um, has been booked in with your details and all of this is customizable so if you haven't um, done this before we've got lots and lots of help articles that you can follow step by step um, but on the right hand side we've got all of these tags so you only have to set up the template once and then pocket PA will pull the client's name whether they're called Jenny or John or Simon or Stephen whatever it is it'll pull that just by having that tag of the client first name and then you put your uh, booking confirmation and then it will pull the service that the client's coming in for so it will automatically know what service they're coming in for and then these other things appointment date and time location and your business name but you can add any additional text or information that you want into these these are just templates and get to get you started so that's your booking confirmation and this will go out as and when you pop a a new appointment into your diary. The next type of client notification is a reminder SMS and these have proved invaluable for um, making sure that you minimize any missed and last minute forgotten appointments and that you keep your diary ticking over and you have continuity and you don't have big gaps where people are like oh my god so sorry I forgot to come. So you would literally choose how far in advance you want to send. I don't suggest that you use minutes, um, not even hours actually. I would suggest suggest that you send it at least one or two days beforehand and again you can customize everything just as you did with your booking confirmation um, the other one that we do is to send a thank you message it's lovely for um, you to build connections and relationships with your clients and we found that using the thank you message which you can send directly after the appointment ends either hours or days or minutes um, 
after the appointment finishes. Um, again, you can put whatever you fancy in the text here, but it's just a really nice touch. And uh, I know so many clients that just say, oh, that's so nice. It feels like you're thinking about them after you've delivered your treatment. And you can also pop in there, perhaps if you've got a link to your Google business to ask for a review. It's a really quick and easy way to automate um, building up your client reviews and testimonials in order for you to be able to um, uh, get other people to find you locally. Um, if you do have any questions, just pop them in the chat and I can specifically cover uh, um, an area if you're wondering about something in Pocket PA. But I would love to hear your feedback because I can make this as tailored or as generic um, as you fancy. So just um, pop it in the chat. Let me know your name and then we can have a chat without speaking. <laughs> so I can um, guide guide you through any of the bits that you've got specific um questions on or that you need help with. Otherwise, I will just continue on as we're going. Um, so that's all to do with um, SMSs. Alternatively, you can do email notifications and that's it's very similar. You just pop in a title for the booking um, uh, for the booking confirmation, what you want to be seen in the subject line, the reminder message, and then the thank you message. You've just got to pop an email subject line in, which you obviously don't need to do with the SMSs. So all of these can be set up to be enabled. Um, so once you've enabled the email notifications to be sent, you can then send just a booking confirmation. You can send two out of those three options or you can send all three. It's totally up to you. You have to enable each one separately by um, clicking on each one so that you get them all activated one by one. So that's the um, notification area. And as I said, that is invaluable. So many of our Pocket PA users say that this is absolutely you know, plummeted the number of people that forget their appointments. They feel super professional because it works just like the big salons do, and yet they're working by themselves. It's like your doctor and your dentist do these days, and everything is controlled inside your Pocket PA system. So yeah, this is one of the really big highlights um, and things that I love about Pocket PA. Um, so just going into um, a little bit more about adding your first bits of information, the first thing that you need to know is you can pop in a new anything by just pressing this plus button at the top here. So here you can go in and add any of these new items. So if you're just using it to track income and expenses, you would use these two buttons. But when you get started, if you want to put appointments in, you need to start with some clients clients because client plus service will equal an appointment. So to add in a new client, you'll just click on that plus button and then the client button and it will then take you directly into the client screen here. And the minimum that you need to put in is your first name and a phone number over here on the right. But if you're going to be mobile or you want to visit them or send them an invoice, you should ideally put in an an address and I would massively encourage you to also add in an email address over here on the right hand side that will enable you to be able to send invoices to be able to send booking confirmations to send reminders and thank yous and also to be able to send any marketing messages that you might want to send um, there's a little space here for you to add any notes um, relating to your clients just personal details that you need to remind yourself and we've also got a field here that you can add in people's birthdays if you want to keep track of that um, lastly, there's an attachment button, which is really handy. So if you get your clients to fill out consultation cards, then you can attach those as a PDF or um, uh, if it's just a, a document or a photograph or something like that. So it's really handy to just attach that to your client's record. And then once you put that information in, you just press the save button and then that client will be added to your database and it will they will show up here. Um, with all of your other clients. And if you pop a photograph on, it will um, make it come to life even more. So this is called a CRM system. It's like a mini little CRM um, system to be able to get all of the details relating to your clients. And if you go and hover over any of them, they'll go a little bit gray. So for example, if you hover over Holly, you can see that she's had 18 appointments, she's made 11 payments, you've sent her eight messages, She's had three invoices, one sale, and the last time she visited you was on the 16th of November. Now, for most people, if you've just got Holly's name in your um, contacts list and she's just, um, you know, that's that's where you store her information. If, if Holly were to contact you to ask you, you know, did I make my last payment or when did I last see you? Or can you just remind me of a list about all of our appointment times or whatever it is that Holly might need to know or you might want to know about Holly? To actually gather all of that information into one place can be a bit of a head 
mistake. But with Pocket PA, you literally just click on Holly's profile and all of that information is all together, all in this one spot. So by default, it will tell you what's going on for this month and you can scroll through the little arrows um, backwards and forwards. And if you click on the year, it will give you all of the information relating to Holly's services that you've delivered, all of the dates and times, whether it's been paid, whether it's been part paid, uh, what the appointment was for, etc. And then you can just scroll through these tabs. So there are six tabs here. And the first one relates to all of the appointments that Holly, had, Holly has had with you. The second one is, in, is any payments that she's made. The next one is sales. She's not had any sales. Invoices here, messages, and then the attachments. So all of that information is right at your fingertips. So I think that that's a really powerful thing to be able to go in and see. Yes, there's two unpaid invoices, um, but she's just paid you some money over. So you can click on the add payment and net that one off. But being able to access all of that information just at your fingertips suddenly puts you head and shoulders um, above so, so many other people working by themselves. And it's not difficult to do. And people often say to me, oh, you know, I'm not very technical. I won't be able to use something like this. Honestly, if you can send a text message, then you are totally qualified to be able to use Pocket PA. You literally just need to be a data enterer and that's it, that's that's it. <laughs> you, you don't need to open spreadsheets, you don't need to get Excel out, you don't need to have a maths degree or anything else. You are able to keep, and keep on top of everything. The first time that you'll probably see a spreadsheet is at the end of the year when you download it to export it to give to your accountant. So yeah, it is, it's really been made super simple and I hope that that's coming across with um, what I'm showing you today. So as I say, I'm not gonna go into too much more detail. I'm going to um, just show you the next thing, which is, um, so you've got your client. The next thing is relating to your services. So this is all of your services area. And again, super simple to add a new service. You just press this plus button. And then I would suggest you start with a single service unless you're a hairdresser and need to have some block timing but all you need to do is to pop the title of your service name in there use the drop down to say how long it takes to deliver the service pop in the amount that it costs and then this is one of my favorite features our little color wheel so you can color code all of your appointments by just choosing a different color pop in any notes relating to that specific service and then over on the right hand side what I encourage um, most of my service based um, pocket PA users to do is to allow their clients to book in online this is such a powerful feature I can't tell you the number of people that come to me that find this such a game-changing um, feature the fact that they've always been going backwards and forwards with messages every single day particularly in the evenings after they have finished work they've got clients to message at weekend organizing getting them into the diary all this back and forth it can stop it just doesn't need to happen you can set up your own online booking diary just as simply as literally clicking these buttons so you can enable this service any service that you put you can choose which ones you want to be available for your clients to book in directly i appreciate that not all services you want to suddenly um, allow access to clients to have um, but if for those that you do want to give them an opportunity to book online literally you just uh, mark that it's an available for online booking and then we also have a way to enable you to collect a deposit up front or the full payment literally you can specify exactly how much you want to collect during the booking process and in order to do that you'll need to be connected to the stripe or payment gateway which is really easy to set up in pocket pa and then once that's set up your clients will make that payment it will go into your stripe or your square account and then that money will transfer into your own bank account and that will be marked off on your income dial to show that, that those clients have made that payment to you. So it's really simple. It means that you're collecting money up front. There's a greater commitment then from clients to be able to um, actually turn up for their appointment. They're less likely to miss it and it really helps your cash flow. So that's a really valuable um, feature. The other thing is you can also ask your clients a specific question during the online booking process. So for example, a lot of um, beauty um, pocket PA users need to ask their clients if they um, have got any allergies or if they've done a patch test or that sort of thing in the recent six months so you can put all of that into that and then when the booking comes into your inbox it will um, give you the answer to any of your special questions the other thing that we offer is the ability to link with zoom and you can do some online um, appointments if that's something that you offer um, with everybody working from home that's become a really popular feature so once you've added in all of that information you just press the save button and then that will be added into your services list here and when you hover over your services it will also then always tell you exactly how much money you've earned from those services so for example this one you've delivered this 
service seven times and you've earned 90 pounds. This one has only been delivered once, three times, six times, twice, six, two, 31 times. So all of that information is really handy because you'll soon be able to work out which are your most popular services, which are the ones that people don't want and perhaps drop off the ones that aren't particularly popular and just focus more on building the ones that are popular. So that's really handy to be able to um, have that knowledge at your fingertips. But you don't get that information when you just do everything on paper in your paper diary. You can't access this data. And it's this data which really helps to make things powerful for you to grow your business and feel that you're much more in charge. Um, for any services that you don't offer anymore, you can just archive them straight into the archive and then they don't show up on a regular basis here. So that's a really handy feature. We've got archiving of features for um, quite a few things like your clients that you don't see anymore, your services, um, discount that you might not offer any more um, products, etc., gift vouchers. So um, that archiving feature is, is throughout Pocket PA, not just on one or two of the tabs. Um, for the online booking, um, once you set that up, this is the little area that you can go into to set it up. And you need to have um, at least one location if you're not mobile. You need to have at least one service showing in here and you need to have at least one day available for your clients to book. So if you haven't got a green tick in each of these it won't allow you to switch this on so if you're having difficulty switching in the online booking look for one of these ticks which won't be green this booking settings is also great because you can customize how you want your page to look when your clients arrive on it so if you're uh, predominantly you've got um, pink colors in your um, logo and your branding and stuff you can choose whichever color is closest to your branding and then uh, what you can do just go through all of these different settings you can put links to your conditions terms and conditions your privacy policy, decide if you want to allow clients to cancel their booking or not. Um, you've got the ability to um, choose whether you only want to accept existing clients to online booking. Um, that's really handy for people. Um, I know I have some massage therapists and they don't want to just allow anybody random to book into their um, calendar for a massage. They don't want some random guy turning up on a wind, wet and windy Thursday evening. So if they switch that on, it means that brand new clients that they don't know aren't able to book and uh, use the online booking system and they'd have to contact them directly. And it also is great for um, quite a lot of our users are fully booked and they aren't, they don't have capacity to be able to take new clients, but they want their existing clients to be able to use this automated process. So that's a really handy feature. Um, so um, it's been popular. Um, and then this is how you integrate it into your um, Facebook or your Instagram page or to share it. Um, uh, you just copy this link. And then if you've got a website, you can embed this code. You can choose the color of your button. You can preview, change what you want on the button text. So there's a few more options there. So that's the online booking. Um, I won't go into classes, but there's lots more information about that with our help articles. So if you do offer classes, we have um, an option for classes. We've got a sales and a products area. We've also got a gift voucher um, area where you can set up gift vouchers, uh, particularly popular around the Christmas time, Valentine's Day, Mother's Day, all those sorts of times. Um, and these are all the different vouchers that you can set up. And then this is where all the income and the expense inform information um, goes into a lot more detail. So you saw on the um, dashboard a bit of information about the income. It's much more detailed in here. And we've got a toggle button here to show you the flow of money but this often overwhelms people so I've got a button to hide that away in case that's just a bit too much for some people particularly when they get started. Um, as usual you can have a look at it on a week, month or year view and just toggle through the different time periods or you can customise and set up your own dates just by um, literally just clicking on these little calendar buttons and um, looking at a finite period. Um, you'll notice here that you've got your goal um, thing which we were talking about at the beginning your goal setting so it tells you if your goal is for earning 1450 it's telling you based on where we are in the month you are over you're doing super well so you should be as far as the um red triangle marker um and you're actually way past that so that's a really nice thing perhaps you haven't set your goal high enough if that's how well you're doing at this point of the month um but it's always great to exceed your targets i always find um so that's relating to your income area and then down here every payment that you enter into pocket pa will be um, categorized into one of these three sections it will either relate to an appointment or it will relate to a sale 
or it will be a standalone payment that doesn't relate to an appointment or a sale. And then at the end, you will see a summary of all of those three columns all in one. So that's, for example, if you want to mark it off against your bank statement. Um, everything out of Pocket PA is exportable. So all you need to do is just click on this export button and then you just choose the dates that you want, the date range, and then you choose which format you want to have everything um, exported, whether it's Excel, CSV or PDF, and then it will download it to your computer and it's all then ready to um, send on or share or look and do reports. The other handy feature that I um, created was this helpful tool where you can actually turn on and export information um, directly into your inbox. And this is a sort of set and forget feature where you can choose how often you want uh, this information to be sent every day, every week, every month, every year. You choose which format you want and then you choose here which information. So if you want information about your income and your expenses or you want to have uh, an up-to-date list of all of your appointments, sent to you, you literally just press that save changes button and then every single one month um, a PDF will arrive with those three bits of data on it. So this is really good if you um, want to jog your memory and perhaps have a look at your data, book yourself data days, get it sent um, to your inbox every single month. I would suggest an Excel um, spreadsheet is much more usable for you to be able to reformat and stuff. But if that drops into your month on the um, into your inbox on the save fifth of every month, that's kind of a, a memory jog to think, right, oh my God, I need to look at my figures. Because as a business owner, you have got a gazillion things to do. I know that. And so just having it come into your inbox is a really handy way for you to be able to think, oh God, I just need a little bit of time out to be able to look at all of that myself. Um, so that is your income uh, area, which we've just covered off. Um, we've also got your expenses area, and it's just as important that you're tracking your outgoings. A lot of softwares, particularly booking softwares, um, will help you track the payments and the income coming in. But what they're not looking at is the other half of your business, which is what's going out. And if you've got as much going out as you've got coming in, then you're going to be on this break even point and your actual profit is going to be minimal. So it's really important. Business is just a game of two parts. What have I got coming in? What have I got going out? Make the income much bigger, the outgoings much smaller. And it's really important to keep a track on what all of these business expenses are. So what I encourage you to do to add in the business expenses as they pop up on a regular daily basis. If not, just leave it till the end of the week and do it at the end of each week. It literally takes less than one minute to add in a business expense. So you can add in a business expense here from the plus button. And there are two types of business expenses. Um, the business expenses, uh, general ones, or you've got mileage tracking. And I've done a really nifty little thing with the mileage tracking, which I'll show you in a moment. But the business expense, you literally just click on here to attach a receipt. If you're on your phone, you can take a photograph um, of your receipt um, when you're out and about. And it pops into this space here. You just literally copy across the amount, you can change the date if it's not the same one on the um, actual receipt. You can also pop in if it's a recurring one, for example, like a phone bill or whatever, you can say it comes in every month and then you put the end date. Um, and then all you do is put how it's been paid, choose the category that it comes under, for example, computer costs, you might have some uh, paper that you've bought, you press that save button, literally that takes how long did that take that's literally 25 to 30 seconds and then you'll see that straight away on their computer costs 20 pounds and that's straight on your um, outgoing style and then when you go back to the dashboard you'll see that um, that expense has been added in and that's offset and so your red area is a little bit bigger does that make sense so Super easy to add in your business expenses. Um, let me know in the comments if you've got any other questions around the income um, and expense tracking, but that's such um, an important thing. And this is what takes, I don't know, two to three weeks for people to do um, when they're at the end of their tax year, just accumulating all of their business receipts, trying to keep track of payments, trying to remember what um, income was received, looking at appointments, did that person pay? Oh my God, I thought they paid a deposit. What does that payment relate to? All of these things are what you're entering in every single day, week and month for your um, for your sort of data entry. That's all you are. You're just becoming a data enterer. It is not rocket science, I promise you. And you are able to do all of this. And it really it might seem like there's a lot. But literally, like I said at the beginning, just start by doing a little bit piece by piece. Um, and that's definitely the way to build up. So once you've got um, your income and your expenses, we've covered off the left to pay. Um, the net income will just show you the difference between what you've got coming in 
Um, and that's the export button, sorry, that's just a little handy tool reminder. So you'll be able to see exactly what you've got and what you've got coming in and what you've got going out. And the idea is that you can have a look through your business over the year and suddenly you can see, oh my goodness, oh, I had quite a lot of expenses in July, or oh, maybe I paid some insurance or whatever it was. But when you're starting to have a regular business flow of income, you're able to see the peaks and troughs uh, and see when you were busy, when you were quiet, when it's a good time to book in for holidays, when you might need to do a bit more marketing, when would be the best time to do a training course, all of those things. If you just do everything in a paper diary, you don't have any physical numbers that you can actually see the information going along backwards and forwards, up and down and stuff. So this is really powerful. And at a glance, you can really see how well you're doing. You don't even need to start drilling down, and looking at all the numbers to know that you've got a lot more green on that screen than red. So you've got a more business business profitable um plus then then you would have um, you know you don't need to be worrying that you've got a hobby going on is basically what I'm trying to say so underneath um, under the net income you've got again a summary of all of the income coming in broken into those appointment payments sale payments standalone payments and then you've got your business expenses so every entry that you have made into pocket PA whether it's an expense or an income uh, listed it will all be tracked in a number of different places for you to be able to find so there's no mystery it doesn't become complicated as I said you don't need a master degree you don't need to be um, on speed dial to your accountant um, every day and this information is available for you to be able to see so um, that's the um, income and expenses we've got a lovely invoicing um, area here where you can literally click on here and have a look in a manual invoice and uh, we also do an automated invoice which is integrated with Stripe and Square and all you have to do is to choose your client here from your drop down or add a new client by pressing the plus button. You'll pop the email address in here that you want to send it to or you can send it manually by downloading it and attaching it and then you can change the colour of your invoice by moving your colour bar here over on the right hand side. Um, that's just going to there we are. So literally, you can just move this along and then choose it to match your branding colours. Your invoice date defaults to today, but uh, you can change that. Your invoice due date, you can give them a, perhaps a week's notice. You must have a unique uh, invoice number, so make sure that you enter that in. And then once you've entered your client's name in, it will give you a list of all of their existing appointments um, showing up here, any that they haven't paid. And you can just literally click in, add a little bit of a description underneath. And then if you want to add another line down here, you can choose another one down there, add another little bit here. And then you build up your invoice. You can pop your bank details in the bottom so that your client um, knows where they're going to be paying the money to. And then, as I said, you can either um, send them the email here or you can just save it and then add it as an attachment and send it on to your client um, straight afterwards. So that's the invoicing section. And then if you look under invoices here, you'll be able to see for the year all of the invoices and you'll be able to see whether they've been paid or not paid. If you need to resend them again, you just press that purple resend button and those will be emailed directly to your client again. If they've made a payment, you just click in here and add the payment. Or if you do need to delete and cancel it, you can use those cross and um, cancel buttons. Um, we've got a little marketing module, which enables you to be able to send emails or SMS marketing messages to your clients. So by pressing that plus button, you choose whether you're doing an email here or an SMS. If you're doing um, a campaign, you can just pop your title in there, click on the next message and then choose all of your clients to send it to, choose specific clients, or you can filter them out based on appointment information or based on sales information. So it's a really comprehensive um, way to be able to um, choose what who you're going to be actually sending your messages to and you can choose here whether you choose archive clients or not and it will tell you how many clients based on the filters that you've chosen the message will be sent to so when you click on the next button you can literally just start writing your message and it starts to show on the right how it's going to look when it's ready to send. And then you need to just make sure that you've got SMS credits. It will tell you how many you're going to use for this campaign. And then you can either choose to broadcast it and send it straight away, or you can schedule it to send at a time later on. Um, so lots and lots of flexibility in your marketing um, options um, for clients and things. Um, so I think that is pretty much a summary of everything in Pocket PA that I was going to show you today. If you've got any other questions, questions then do drop me um, a message I'm let's say best over on Instagram um, that's the best place to come and find me uh, I'm at pocketpa.gb 
and it would be lovely to see you. I'm also on TikTok, as I said, at the same one. And so please um, come over and connect. And if you would like a 14 day free trial, go to pocketpa.com and then there's a button there for you to click and have a free trial. And you can literally get going straight away and see how much this can help your business. Please drop um, something in below if you've watched this on replay and um, just let me know the bits that you found helpful. That would be great. Have a good evening.